welcome guys, RC Shim in the hangar. This will be a really short update video and I wanted to test something now that I just got in the mail and show you. The Clear TX, it's from Fox here. This is really nice and tiny VTX from Fox here that's supposed to be very clear on the frequencies. More about that later in an, a second, much longer video. But the point for me of this video is to check if the milliwatt output from this VTX is now correct. And I say now because I got the initial clear TX weeks or months ago and found not the best performance. And they promised me that this is just the first batch. And I was not the only one that was being promised this. I spoke with a few other reviewers that had not the best results with this either and they were also told uh, it's just the first batch. So now in line with the new Foxier Falcor which I'm very curious about and I really love Foxier for their cams. But the VTX <laughs> I'm not so sure about it. So what we have here is the RF power meter version 2 with a 20 dB attenuator, 20 dB attenuation setup in the menu here. I'm on 5.8, average mode 20 dB, span of 40. Connected via this pigtail adapter here. I have the right polarity and uh, SMA, no pin forgotten or something. So now I switch on my little power setup here and power this receiver. This is supposed to be a LED. It's a bit weird, but it's okay. Uh, um, a LED digit display. I prefer the normal real digits, but yeah, it's okay with these LEDs. So that's four and four. Green is for band, blue is for channel. Four, you have to look it up. Four is airway for a fat check band. And channel 4 is 5.8. So I'm right in the sweet spot. With the first long press here in the band, second long press here in the channel mode, third long press here in power mode. I have power 1. Power 1, um, I calibrated it all the way up to 40 milliwatts. Okay, that's not bad. Mode 2. Mode 2, which is supposed to be 200 milliwatts, getting close to 200. But it's getting hot really fast, so you better be quick. Mode 3. It, it has a limit. They told me their limit is at nearly 1 watt, but really you see it's 170 milliwatts. I don't want to say I'm pissed. But I feel like they didn't tell me the truth. Because this now is this unit now is a few weeks or months later in production and it still has the same performance as the old one, which is not optimal. And yeah, they tell they told me there will be a VTX version 2 of their clear TX, but they sold this. I don't think that they removed it from their stocks without selling it. So it's clear false advertising and as much as I like Fox here for their cams, uh, as a reviewer you can't get them you can't let them get away with with such things. So at the moment at least VTXs don't buy clear TXs from Fox here and this video is a bit hard because Fox here was always loyal to me. Of course they try to send you more free stuff than would be necessary for the reviews. So they get you to have a good opinion on the brand, which wouldn't be necessary really. I mean, I appreciate having a few Predator Minis, but uh, it's just a good product and I am uh, I'm loyal to you viewers. Uh, I will tell you if something is not good and yeah, this VTX just isn't that good. And also I'm not too happy about their lollipop antennas and <laughs> now this will really get me in trouble with sorry snows <laughs> sorry sorry fox here um, this really will get me in trouble and if you see uh, fox here stop stopping sending me stuff then <laughs> maybe this, re this video is the reason but i just didn't want to hold it back 
Of course, if the new VTX that they will send out is good, I will tell you this. I mean, what this VTX was really great for, <laughs> I could calibrate it down to um, output only one milliwatt and that was good for my antenna testing because I didn't even need an attenuator up there. About how to calibrate it while powering up, you have to hold the button. I will try to show you this. So hold it, apply power. Now this is power mode one and if green blinks I can increase. Yeah, the max of power level one is around 40. Next long press. Power 2, power 2 all the way up to 130 and it's really getting hot. Power level 3, increase all the way up to yeah, around 250. Now it's like 300. Okay, let's, let's call it 280, maybe maximum 300 milliwatt, not the 600 that was advertised. Okay, while we're at the bench. It's the Lollipop version 2. They sent me the sample to review it. <laughs> the first thing I did was I destroyed it by opening it up. Because I was so curious how the version 2 looks now. And this is the Skew Planner mini version that they have now. It's different from the first iteration. It was a clear Axie clone. So this looks like an open SPV antenna but it's really different from the version 1. And the version 1, which I have on some quads here, I mean the benefit of version 1 is it's really small and durable. It took, it took a lot of force to get this open and I can glue it back in, it will just not be pretty anymore. Oh, it will be almost pretty. Um, so it's durable, it's small, but of course it doesn't have the same performance as a way large ISPV antenna. And I still prefer these AOM ways here. And I've been antenna testing with one of my quads lately, uh, testing a new ground station setup. And I was not blown away by the range that I can get with this on the transmitter on the quad. So yeah, for freestyle, for close quarters, uh, if you fly with 600 milliwatts anyways, you get decent range with it, but you just will not get long range with these small antennas. But I don't think that you expected long range out of those. That's about the antennas. And while we're still here, and this is just a preview or a first look, I wanna show you the thing that I really, really, look forward to test. It's the full-size version of the new Foxier top model, Foxier Falcor. They advertise it for being even better than the Predator Mini, which would blow me away because I really like the Predator Mini. I mean the blue shift, the colors not perfect, but the amount of dynamic range and the clarity, the sharpness, everything. And it's also fast, that's important as well. So if all those goods are combined in the Falcor, and even a bit better, this would be a winner. It's switchable in the software 6943, which is also good. It's PAL or NTC switchable, so it's basically it's like the Runcam Eagle 2 or something, where you could switch a lot. And that's, yeah, that's awesome. I will not be able to show you images of this today. I mean, I could. One thing they advertise as an uh, advantage or as a new thing, always the ground are on a separate connector, but you see like my connector is too wide now to fit in there. I don't like this too much. I mean, there is a smaller connector, yeah. Yeah, these smaller connectors with only four pins will work. Make sure to stay tuned on my channel to see an, an, an in-depth review of this Falcor soon. Curious to see it. Yeah, so that's about it. My rant about Fox here and the VTX. 
I mean, yeah, <laughs> I will follow you up in the comments what they how they react. I know there will be a VTX2 out soon, uh, I'm not sure yet when, but I don't like that they kind of lied to all of the reviewers. Some reviewers noticed that the milliverts are too low, they said it's just the first batch now, I got the second batch, it's the same. Why do you even send me this if, if it's not true, if it's, if it's not supporting your life? Uh, maybe I'm too hard on this, but yeah, I don't like this. What would also be up here? Oh, I almost forgot the most interesting part of this video. Maybe there is something called the X Lite. Banggood sent me the Taranis X Lite, the small one, uh, and I, I gotta show this. I, I planned this video to be short, but I gotta show this to you guys. Check out Oscar Liang's blog post about this thing. He already did a nice review. Uh, it's getting cluttered, sorry. <laughs> so nice packaging, full review will follow of course. So we will not go into too much detail but just have a look at it. Doesn't it look awesome? And it's so small. I mean I have big hands, yes, but that's really a convenient radio form factor. It has OpenTX on it. I just can't show it because it doesn't come with batteries. Be sure to also order 18500 batteries, lithium ion batteries. They do not sell this Taranis thing with batteries for easier shipping for them, but you have to source those little lithium cells somewhere. And it's not the 18650, which fit in the Fat Shark case. No, it's the 18. 500 size batteries that go here and here. So I cannot show it to you. Uh, batteries should be in the mail today, but sticks are really nice and I really love having a, such a tiny radio that I can throw in my backpack without the fear of breaking those switches here. And it's just for tiny whoops great, but also for things like those freestyle drones, this will be my go-to radio. It's uh, 2.4, it has support for an external antenna, but it has an internal antenna. And it has this module bay in the back which will not hold a crossfire the easy way, but it's compatible with the crossfire. But you can read all these in Oscar's blog post, it's really awesome what he found out, out already. I will not repeat it now. Just wanted to show you, this is a sneak peek. I will be reviewing this properly and yeah, be, be sending out the review in one of the latest two weeks when I've tested it enough. Really like it. Okay, so thanks for watching this unplanned, unstructured, partly ranty, partly first look video. Uh, yeah, well, just a few stuff, a few things that I wanted to tell you. I uh, hope you learned something out of it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.